Good morning, everyone. Today is Wednesday, and you know what that means. It is the day that I get on the scale and get a little feedback, see what the scale thinks of how the week went with my eating. So, by the way, I am in full, full makeup this morning, and I don't know if you can tell, but it's dark out still. It's getting ready to be light. It's about quarter to seven in the morning, and normally at quarter to seven in the morning, I am not in full face, but I did just film this for Makeup Monday. I love this. This is one of my very favorites. This is the palette that I used. By the way, as always, I will link everything below always in my videos. If you ever want to know what I used or maybe what makeup I have on or you like a blush or whatever it may be, or you just can't remember how many carbs I eat per day or what my specific way of eating my overall plan is, always, always, always everything is linked below for you. So I will have everything linked today. If you're interested in this makeup look, it will go out in the next couple of weeks, but I really like this one. I called this a hot chocolate look and I, I kind of feel like it works with that. So anyway, I digress. Let's talk about my way in for the week. So on Wednesday, I always do a weigh in and I know that it is one of the favorite videos that I do on this channel. Many of you give me a lot of feedback that you look forward to this video because we kind of analyze what went right, what went wrong, what can I do better, how did I fail, how did I succeed? So we talk all through that and hopefully it's helpful for you. So now I have to say this because as always, I am not a medical professional and I'm never giving you medical advice. I am also not telling you what you should or should not eat. You know, YouTube is getting kind of strict about that. I put a couple of videos out about it. So I'm trying to be a little bit careful with my wording. And I don't know if you've noticed, but I am making a conscious effort to give Weight Watchers points now because it's easy for me. I do have access to the app. So I am giving out Weight Watchers points on all of my what I eat in the days and my grocery hauls. So if you're on Weight Watchers, we've got you covered. And then additionally, I am trying to use the term healthy carbs more than low carb. And that's mainly because YouTube has made some changes that is kind of forcing me to go that direction in terms of the way that I'm saying things. So if you notice that, that is the reason why. So all of that said, how did my weigh in go this week? Last week I had a game. We talked all through that. I do have a playlist on my Wednesday weigh-in, so if you want to get caught up and see what happened, you can always revert back to that playlist. But this week, I had another game. I had another game. Oh my gosh. All right, so I am going to tell you the game because I am outside of my window still. You know, I went outside of my weight window last week, and I'm still outside of that window. So if you're new to the channel, my, my window that I gave myself is between 145 and 150 pounds. If I'm in that window, I just tell you that I'm in the window. We don't get hung up on all the point one, point two, one point one. We don't because mentally for me, I don't like that. It's not good for me. So I don't like to do that. But if I'm outside of my window to the low, which never happens, or to the high, I let you know that. So I am up another point six. So why is this happening? What the heck is going on? I'm telling you, I'm just going to I'm just going to let you know that I think it's the same thing that happened last week. I am working out a lot more. I am lifting weights. I am day before yesterday I walked four and a half miles. Now, why did I do that? And did I do it all in one sitting? No, I did not. That was multiple times throughout the day. So what I have found for myself, especially when I have an incredible amount of stress like I do right now, which, they, you know, that's probably a whole nother talk as well, because I, I do believe that cortisol and stress will help you hang on to weight. I really do. So that aside, the way that I'm coping with the stress that I'm under right now is through exercise. Because for me personally, when I am upset, I will have an adrenaline dump into my body. And sometimes that adrenaline dump will happen multiple times a day. So for me, in order to, you know, what I say to people is if you, like my husband, for example, he doesn't really totally understand anxiety because he doesn't have it. But you know what he does have? A massive fear of snakes. 
And so what I explained to him is if you were sitting watching television and relaxing and watching golf, as he likes to do, and I came up from behind you and I dropped a cobra in your lap, what would happen? You would First off, you'd jump up and run, but if you didn't do that, your heart would race, you would start sweating, you would be completely panicked, and if all those things happened and you were still just sitting there with nowhere to go with all that adrenaline, that is sometimes what happens to me. It's kind of like the best way to explain it. So for me, the way that I combat that is I walk, and it just helps because it burns up the adrenaline. So I'll just throw my little sneakers on, and I will walk outside, or I will go to the gym. And when I go to the gym, that helps a lot because I'll do my cardio, I'll walk for about 30 minutes, then I'll do my weights, which really helps get rid of that. And then if I still have energy and I'm still feeling a little bit of that zing, then I will do more cardio. Maybe I'll move over to the elliptical. So that's how I deal with that. And as a result of that, I think the scale is going up. But the bonus to that is I feel like my muscles are tightening and firming up, even in through my core, I can feel that that is firming up. So for me, I am not going to get all hung up on the scale because that's happening. I just don't, I don't want to say, oh my gosh, the number is going up. I'm going to stop what I'm doing because here is the thing. I know that I'm eating right. Am I eating perfect? No. But 90% of the time, I am eating on track because for me, the way that I eat, which is I eat healthy carbs in limitation. That is the way that I eat. And like I said, the what I eat specifically, my plan, which is super easy and free, anybody can follow it down below, always in the description box. But for me, that comes so naturally and so easily that there's not a huge need to go off track. So for me, if I have a couple, two, three cookies, will I gain weight from that? Absolutely not. But I won't feel as good. That's really the truth of the matter. It's not good for me because I have a tendency to become pre-diabetic. I am trying to ward off diabetes. It runs in my family. So I have to watch that. And when I don't eat mounds of sugar or really, you know, honestly, a lot of bread, a lot of rice, a lot of pasta, as long as I don't do that. And listen, the word a lot is subjective. So some people like my husband, for example, he will say, I didn't have a lot of rice and I'm looking at the amount of rice that he had and it might be a full dinner plate. Now, Kevin has lost a lot of weight by limiting the carbs and doing intermittent fasting. But see, I can't eat, if I eat even a half a cup of dry rice and, you know, cook it, it usually becomes a whole lot more than a half a cup. If I eat that, my blood sugar will spike. If I do that one time, is that a problem? No, of course not. But for me, because the way that my body metabolizes food, it will cause a craving of me wanting more of that because that will turn to sugar for me pretty quickly. And then I start thinking about adding bread and then I start thinking about adding in potatoes and then I want pasta. So, and then from there it's brownies and cookies. So for me, I just can't do it. I talk about that pretty often on my channel that I have to limit myself because I know me the same way that you have to know you. And for some of us, a little bit is just simply too much. It just doesn't help me. It does not help me achieve my goals in any way. So all of that said, yes, I had a gain. Do I care? I do not. And the reason I don't, like I said, is because I'm, I feel good about the way my clothes are fitting and I feel good about what I'm achieving in terms of fitness. You know, I am not one of those people you know, I say what I mean on my channel, whether, you know, you like it, great. If you don't like it, maybe some people get upset, they unsubscribe, but I like to say, you know, what's really coming from my heart. And the thing is, I don't want to lose a bunch of weight and look skinny fat. 
You know what I mean? And I know there's some people that get highly offended if you use the word fat, but let's be real. We all use the word fat. Am I going to go call somebody fat? Of course not. But when I'm looking at myself, there is a such thing as skinny fat. And what I mean by that is if I lose a lot of weight and then I have really loose arms, you know what I mean? Like the bat wings or even at my knees, when you have looser skin that gets crepey because you did not add back in the muscle tone, I don't want that. I want to feel strong. I don't want to feel as I age, like I'm going to slip on water or I'm going to fall in the grocery store and I, I have nothing. I don't have any muscle tone. I'm not going to catch myself appropriately and I'm going to break something, an elbow, a wrist, a hip or whatever. I don't want to do that. I want to have enough muscle tone that these things are less likely to happen. Do I want to be Thomas DeLauer? Is that going to work out for me? No, it is not. It is not. But I certainly can have enough muscle tone that if I need to lift a box, if I need to carry in a pack of water from Costco, that I can do that. Those are my goals. I just want to be able to carry in a pack of water from Costco without getting out of breath. Can we all agree to that, that that's kind of important? So anyway, that was my weigh-in for the week. I hope this was helpful for you, and I will see you in the next couple of days for another video.